Where are we going? We're going to three places today. First, we are going to Lahaina to visit um, the Mala Cafe. Tavern. Mala Tavern to have some foods. And then we are going to Mauna Lua Bay to do some snorkeling. And then we're going to see the sunset at Dragon Point in Kapalua. So this is a fun little day trip or half a day trip in our case if you want to spend some time near Lahaina. Yeah, if you're in Lahaina, definitely uh, like consider checking these places out. If you want to do some snorkeling, north of Lahaina is awesome, West Maui, yeah. instead of going to like the really, really busy areas. Although like McKenna Beach is also pretty great for snorkeling and it might be closer to your resort. Yeah. So. Yeah, and a lot of people go to um, Slaughterhouse Beach. It's called that because there used to be a slaughterhouse there. They will not slaughter you there. <laughs> yeah. Although, yeah. who knows? And um, But I've heard from friends that it's, it can be pretty... Like, you have to check the swell um, forecast. It's really calm right now. So we are we'll lucky fine. today. But uh, in the winter, it can be pretty... Uh, it can be rough sometimes, so be careful. So, see you on the water and the restaurant and all everywhere. <laughs> about a 40-ish minute drive from our house. Um, and uh, yeah, we could not be better. So uh, there is inside and outside seating. This is technically inside, but uh, so at the moment we do have to be vaccinated if you want to be inside. Um, but the windows are open. But yeah, you're right next to an open window. You're closer uh, to the water than you would be if you were outside. Ironically, yeah. And um, yeah, so in, in our Maui, it's really rare to be this close to the water and rest of so yeah, we're always doing stuff like this, so uh, check us out, subscribe, like, all that stuff, and um, mahalo, aloha. I got a beet box salad. He's gonna start beet. Exactly. Oh my god. Wow. That looks yummy. And this is yummy too. So, how are we gonna do this? Like, there you go. The moment of truth. Did you put the batteries in? Oh. Not battery power. Oh. Oh, right. Nothing is happening. Oh, it is. I see. Isaac, are you excited? Isaac? I don't know you. Visual and audio. Uh, audio. Audio. It's 
it's a beautiful walk. It's not that long, just a few minutes. Um, I can't film because my hands are full. And Isaac is catching up because he has uh, trouble with the kayak. But it's beautiful here. This looks like a tree from Avatar. Property. I did not read that anywhere. It looks like we are allowed to come here as long as we follow the rules and are respectful. Which you should do always anyway. We brought way too much stuff and we were and gonna, our kayak was popped. Our kayak, yeah, we were gonna we brought all this stuff because we were gonna put it in the kayak and then the kayak had a hole in it. And, and we then, still brought all this stuff. And this uh, octopus also has a hole in it somewhere. A small one. I don't know what's going on with it because it's <laughs> oh, yeah, slightly deflating. But And we saw I saw three fish. It was great. They were pretty. Yeah. <laughs> and but you have to swim pretty far in this bay. Which um, is why a kayak is useful. Yeah. Or go, if, honestly, if you're a tourist and you're thinking about doing this, go with the tour. That'll be the best results, I think. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, I want you to spend money, but we saw nothing and wasted time. And it's okay because we live here, but yeah, if you were you'd be upset. Days, you'd be very upset. Yeah. But look, it's really pretty here. I don't even know if Isaac noticed on his way here. Do you see this tree above us? Banyan tree, yeah. Or no, it's not, that's not a banyan. It's not a banyan. It's like the one in Avatar. Yeah, very cool. Also, like getting into the water here is really hard. So another reason why to go with a boat, um, you just jump in and out without any issues. I kind of want us to go with a tour too. Are you TBH. in an octopus? I am in an octopus. I'm, I usually am though. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, don't do this unprepared because you will be sad. Or over prepared. <laughs> don't bring too much stuff. And don't feed or chase the chickens. It's one of the rules here. <laughs> right, cheeky, cheeky, chick. Cheeky chicks. Hmm? Pup set? Pup set.
Olena. And I'm Isaac. We're, we're moving, moving to, to Hawaii. Hawaii! But first... We're driving from New York City to Seattle. With Smiley, our nine-year-old rescue pity. In our Tesla Model 3, equipped for camping. And we are funding this trip with our Etsy store. Meaning we are bringing around 50,000 earrings. And 500 envelopes. And our label printer. On this 11-day cross-country road trip. Subscribe to the Travel Bug Bite today! If you liked our video, don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Check out our videos from all around the world and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching!